Dr. Lu, thank yes. you for joining our program today. Yes. I know yes. you are a veteran uh, architect, so mm. can you uh, tell us how the industry like when you first joined it? How is that different from today's? Well, you know, I think um, it was very, very different. And it is often said that uh, architecture is a reflection um, you know, of the society. And you must remember that in the early 70s, uh, the whole world, uh, including Hong Kong, uh, was um, you know, trying to survive uh, the triple increment of the oil prices because of the Middle East war. And of course, Hong Kong at that time was still very much a manufacturing base for garment and for toys. Um, so as such, I think people um, were um, actually not, not that sophisticated. Uh, and um, a lot of things that we built were mainly factories and uh, a lot of housing. Well, Hong Kong is known for its limited space because we have uh, a lot of very hilly landscape. Mm -hmm. Does it add any challenge um, to the architect? Oh, I think definitely. I think, um, you know, it provides a great background. And uh, besides the water on the hill, uh, there's also, you must remember that uh, Hong Kong is also a very green city. Uh, in that, uh, in, uh, even in wintertime, you know, we have green hillsides. And, and uh, you know, Hong Kong uh, engineers and architects have been very smart in being able to make use of that and build buildings on slopes uh, uh, to great effect. Well, in recent years, I think a lot of people complain about the height of Hong Kong's buildings. Mm -hmm. They said actually the high-rise building affects the air quality uh, mm -hmm. of Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Do you agree that uh, it's a problem? And do you have any solution for that? I think uh, height is just only one thing, but I think the most important thing is that you must realize where people are in the city. And the people are actually on the ground level. And when they're on the ground level, then I think it's very important is how the building can come down. How does it meet the ground? And that we should provide spaces at the ground level for people. Uh, for instance, if you're building a 10-story uh, building that covers 100% of the site uh, versus a building which is, say, 20 stories, and only covers 50% uh, of the site, then automatically uh, you have more air at the lower level where people are. So, um, you know, high buildings may not be a bad thing, but I think in Hong Kong what is more important is that uh, we are basically too dense, and th this density is what creates a problem. Mm -hmm. Well, overall, how can we make our buildings more environmental friendly? Um, uh, There's a big initiative now, not just in Hong Kong, but worldwide. Uh, in Hong Kong, uh, we have a system uh, for um, uh, designing a, a sustainable building, and it's called Hong Kong Beam. Okay, now for people who are not familiar, Beam is uh, B is for uh, uh, building, E for uh, uh, environmental, A for assessment method. So it controls uh, basically five things. It controls um, how you site a building. Uh, it controls um, the materials that you use. Uh, it controls, um, you know, the the sustainability, um, how 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 buildings are, are put together to to make it environmental. Mm -hmm. Well, another hot topic uh, about the buildings in Hong Kong is about um, to preserve the historical building. Mm -hmm. From an architect expert point of view, what conditions should we consider when we decide which building should be preserved? Well, you know, Hong Kong has, um, has uh, been late in doing this, but I think uh, it's, it's, it's never too late, I guess. Um, and um, Hong Kong government has, in fact, now over a thousand buildings which they have classified as historic. And, um, you know, I guess some of the conditions you look at uh, would be that uh, it'd be a worthwhile project to keep because of its uh, historic uh, value or because of its condition. Well, I hope um, we can research as many of uh, these historical buildings as, as much as possible. Yes, uh, I think so too. I hope to see you again in this program again. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.